In this tutorial, we will show you how to integrate Modbus slave devices into Bagnet by using the new Modbus templates functionality included in our software in Tesis Box Maps. With this new feature, it becomes really easy to integrate a Modbus slave device by using a previously created template. We have now up to 86 templates created and we will be adding more soon. On this example, we are going to use an in Tesis Box Bagnet to Modbus gateway. First, let's open the project template for it. Remember that it's not necessary to be connected to the gateway, so we can make all the configuration offline and download it to the gateway later. Let's continue. On the configuration tab, we choose the Modbus master option. Right there, we can create devices and edit the signals manually, or we can add a device from a template. If we click on add from template, a new dialog will open. To continue, we can choose importing a template file from our computer or download it from our online repository. Let's check both options. First, we click on Import File. Then, we have to choose the location where the templates are saved in our computer. We have several templates here, as you can see. It is important to check the Author Text field. You'll notice that all templates here are signed by Intesis Software. This is important, as anybody can create a template, I'll show you later how. But when a template is signed by us, this means that we also verified that all the data is correct. Now, let's check how to download the template from our repository. We click on Download and another dialog opens. Here, we will find all the templates available. We can use the filters by brand and also by model name. Once we know which template to use, we mark it, and finally, we click on Select. Once imported, we can enable or disable the objects we want. Also, we can choose if import all of them, or just the enable ones. When we are ready to go, we click on Apply. Now, we have a new device imported with its signals. Here, we can change the default device name and also change any other information. If we want to add more devices like this one, we can just select it, then we click on Clone, and we have to choose the number of devices we want to add. These clone devices are going to be exactly like the one selected. Of course, we can clone as many devices as we want. Once we have all the devices created, it is time to check that everything is okay. To do so, we are going to click on Signals. And here, we will be able to check that all our devices, they have the signals we previously have chosen. Here, we can also activate or deactivate the signals we would like to control. As you can see, it is pretty easy to do so. Now, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to generate your own template. As an example for this, we are going to use another project that we previously created. On this project, we have an integration example of our Modbus air conditioning interface for Mitsubishi Electric. Let's say that now we would like to create a template for this device, containing all the signals. Would be also nice to change the device name, on this case, MEAC MBS1, and also to add the manufacturer, in this case, Intesis. Once we are done with that, we can check the signals we would like to add. On this case, we want all of them, so we can proceed. Now, it is only necessary to choose the device we would like to export, click on Export, and choose the path and file name that we want for this template. That's OK. Now, in order to check that everything went OK, let's try to load our template in an empty project. So now let's open a new project, iBox BAC MBM. Now, we have to go to the Configuration tab. Once here, we click on Add from Template. We browse the file, and once we have it, we have to select it and click on Open. Here we can check that all the signals are correctly imported, and finally, we have to click on Apply. And that's it. 
now we have successfully imported our template. Of course, if having any doubts or questions regarding this new functionality, don't hesitate contacting us. Thank you very much.